driving, once you're drinking, you don't realize you don't need to drive. And that's where it, where it comes into play. You get uh, that uh, sense of uh, immortality when you're drinking. You don't worry as much. And you get out in the, uh, behind the wheel, and, and that's when these things happen, you know. Developing now at 10, we have a new details in a car crash that left two people dead and another person in the hospital. Police say drinking and driving was a major factor in that accident. Good evening, I'm Madeline Bierster. And I'm Carson Bush. Joe, ABC Big 2, Stephanie Martinez joins us now live from the Department of Public Safety in Odessa tonight. Stephanie, many people in the community are speaking out about this type of problem here in the basin. That's right, guys. That crash happened on FM 3472, just outside Odessa city limits. Now people in the basin are speaking and voicing their opinions on drunk driving related accidents. Driving, once you're drinking, you don't realize you don't need to drive. And that's where it, where it comes into play. You get uh, that uh, sense of uh, immortality when you're drinking. You don't worry as much. And Enrique Enriquez was driving west on FM 3472 when he crossed the center lane and hit another car. His passenger, Janie Corrales, was taken to the hospital where she later died. The other driver, Mier Mosillo, died at the scene. Now he's being charged with intoxication manslaughter. Many people who live in the basin say it's not their first time hearing about drunk drivers on the road or even seeing it in person. I actually see people, I'll see them drinking beers while they're driving uh, every once in a while. Just, you can notice them too. And you can notice like them swerving, swerving uh, especially later at night. I'm always extremely uh, aware of my surroundings because it could happen at any time and you never know who's out there. Susana Valenzuela says that if it were her in that position, she's reminded of her family. It would be very bad because I do have a daughter, you know, um, that would be her without a mom. I know my mom will be very sad. And Uber, Lyft, and taxis are some of the rideshare services available to drivers who have been drinking. That's very heartbreaking, especially, you know, it's a new year. Uh, people should, should consider using Lyft. There's all these drunk driving people out there, you know, maybe you never know who could be a victim. TechStot also reminds you that if you are caught drinking and driving, you can serve jail time, get your license taken up, and get a fine. Reporting live from Odessa, Stephanie Martinez, ABC, Big 2 News.